Another new uh, kind of feature I want to highlight as part of our uh, version 4 update to our ESS portal um, is some support for personalizing some of the labels that, uh, that you would assign to a favorite or to um, a filter. Um, pretty simple interface, so if I go to my favorites area, you'll see I've got my list of favorites. We had previously to this, we had the ability to uh, kind of drag and drop and change the order of these. That still exists as it is. Um, I can click on these, it'll launch it, right? Um, but the new update is you'll see they have these little pencils next to them now. And what the pencils allow me to do is kind of edit. It doesn't let me allow to edit the table or the type definition that's displayed, um, but I can edit the, the name of this. So I can call this, you know, Jeff's favorite KB article. And I can, a couple things worth note, I can enter to save that update. I can also, uh, you'll see there's a save icon here. So I can say KB document and hit save on that is another way to save it as well. And both will, will work. All right, so if I were to, you know, reload, just to highlight, right, that it does indeed save that. Go under my favorites, you'll see it saved that kind of document name. The same thing can be done with these filters. And the things with the filters are, um, so if I say I want to add a new filter, or add a new favorite, I don't have the option when I do this, when I hit the save for the favorite option to add this as a favorite. And note, this is another little side note, another update that we had in our, our app here. Um, the way which we display favorites, they're filled in hearts for the favorites, they're blank or empty hearts for the ones that aren't favorites. And the other thing we do too is we don't, um, we used to kind of prompt you for uh, kind of confirmation of removal of a, of a favorite. Now you just kind of turn them on and off without any additional prompts. I was going to highlight that when I say something as a favorite, the label it's going to use um, by default is going to be the name um, of that item. And then, you know, so you don't have an option when you do the save the favorite to, to change the name, but you can always come to your favorites area to then alter its name. And then it'll save that as that. Now, the other thing I want to highlight with this too, uh, before I get to the filters part, is that if I unfavorite this, right, and it's not in my list anymore, right, um, and then I favorite it again, and I go back to my list, you'll see it'll start back over with the name I had before. It's not going to remember the last label or the old label that I had for that favorite or for that filter. So that's just one thing to note that uh, it won't persist that. So for the favorites, that's where I can make those edits. Um, for the filters, I can also edit them here. So if I wanted to, let's just say I wanted to create a new filter, come in here for document services, maybe ones that contain the word cards, Right, these are the ones I want to save. I can save this as a filter called my uh, document service items. Save it as a filter. It's in my list. And now I can add the filter name here. Same kind of item. Or, uh, right, and I can also edit it if I wanted to. I could also edit it up here. And you'll kind of see that this thing puts it alphabetically. So if I put, you know, if I put this as a first filter list, you'll see it kind of shows up in the list. Okay, so that's kind of the interface. Let me uh, I'll just kind of show you kind of what it does behind the scenes, just so you kind of understand this a little better. Um, so these. The save filters is a separate table, kind of same behavior there, but I want to highlight uh, for the favorites, basically they are stored as part of these portal activities. You'll see a type of favorite. Um, if you go into here, what's being saved as part of this um, uh, process of changing the label is, uh, is an additional data point here. So for example, if my Apple iPad one, if I go into this, right, that I added out here and I change this to my favorite item you'll see that that is what's being added here in terms of description of my favorite item. So that's basically what's happening. The saved uh, favorites has, or saved filters has a separate table and the same kind of activity is happening there. There's a label that's being assigned as part of that. Um, and so the other thing I wanna highlight, just so you know, uh, so these <coughs> kind of the components you behind this, the tool we're using, if we go to, um, I'll just kind of show on any one of the, let me go to a header record, let me show you kind of what's in here. So where the kind of tool is that we're using to kind of provide that interface for <clears throat> making the edits, um, we're using this tool or this, and this is part of this core components that loads across all of our pages. Um, you'll see this X editable dependency. 
Uh, basically what this library is, it has a scripting, uh, kind of an AngularJS library for, um, as a script as well as a style sheet that's being loaded in. Uh, you can find this, if you were to search for X-editable AngularJS, you'd find basically the documentation page uh, that covers kind of these input fields and some of the options you have around the, the buttons and kind of handling the on change events and on enter events and things of that nature that we're, we're using. So that's kind of the, the components and the third party of the tool that we're using for doing these um, label based edits.